Hi guys, welcome to Hoops Junction. Today we're going to be talking about the transition three-point shot. Now, more than ever, the past three years, every year, teams have been shooting more threes, like a ton of them. I mean, everybody's shooting a three-point shot from mediocre teams to the great teams. You know, we saw the San Antonio Spurs spank the uh, the uh, Miami Heat, and they used a three-point shot as their primary weapon. And we saw the Warriors spank the Cleveland Cavaliers coming back from a 2-1 to one deficit, primarily due to the usage of the three-point shot. The three-point shot, I love it. You know, I think it has its place in the game. But overall, I think the three-point shot is killing basketball in transition. I feel that many teams do not know what to do when it comes to transition basketball. It used to be when you play transition basketball, three-on-one, two-on-one, three-on-two, you are supposed to end with a layup. You know, you could do the weave, you could pass to your teammate. Either way, it's supposed to end in a layup. Today, in the game of basketball, that is the complete opposite. Teams are shooting the transition three at an alarming rate, and it's killing them. They're leaving so many points on the table. You know, I was watching the next game. Uh, at, they were at home against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I think Carmelo Anthony shot maybe three or four transition three-point shots, which he could have traded in and got three layups, which would have been six more points, which they could have added to their total. And it just doesn't make any more sense to me. Why shoot so many transition threes, especially when you got a hand in your face? It makes more sense to fan out wide. You know, you got three on one, three on two, two on one, fan out wide, and get the layup. There are too many teams that have below average three point shooters shooting transition threes. You know, it's when when it goes in, it feels like it's the best shot in basketball. When really it's the worst. You're you're trading in a lower percentage shot. You know, you're trading a high percentage shot for a lower percentage shot. Even though you do get three points for it, but if you miss, then that's just points that you you left in transition. Your transition suffers. And the Knicks last night, they suffered in transition. It was it was pitiful. It was really bad. You know, it's it's crazy. It's just like and it's happening all over the NBA and it's happening all levels of basketball. I think uh this past summer when I was hooping it up. You know, kids are, sh are shooting transition threes on fast breaks. And it's just like, there's only one player that I've seen that has the go-ahead for that. And that's Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is like the only player, and maybe Klay Thompson, that I'm okay with shooting a transition three. You know, like, get the layups. Get your layups. The layups are are better. You know, layups are a higher percentage. And... Even though the three-pointer demoralizes teams a lot, those easy baskets in transition, they're, they're what can, you know, they could dictate a game and they could dictate the winner of a game. You can't rely on the three-point shot. It's, it's really sad. <laughs> Especially like all these, like, you know, Melo's a great three-point shooter, but it'd be better for him to go to, the, you know, go to the basket, get an easy layup, or get fouled. You know, that's what we were taught, and I feel like a lot of, Basketball players were taught the same thing, but now they're going away from it because of the fad. It's not a fad of the three-point three-pointer, but just the popularity of the three-point shot in transition three is creating like a frenzy where people don't even want to go to the basket anymore. I'm I'm seeing players take step back threes. You know, to be in transition, it's a fast break instead of passing to the guy below the rim that's wide open. No, no, no. Let me let me uh, gather my feet. Let me take all my time and try to shoot the, the transition three. And a lot of guys do that crap, and it breaks. It's like, what was the point of that? You look stupid now because you just gave up two. You you passed up on two points that could have been, you know, wide open. Plus, you're not passing to your teammate, so now you're you're, you're being selfish. And it's just a shame, you know. When what I want you to do is compare the '70s and '80s to today's transition game. So like. Look at the 70s and 80s fast break, and then look at today's fast break. Something completely different. I mean, if you watch the Showtime Lakers, the Detroit Pistons, even like the early Chicago Bulls, I mean, these guys, when they got out on the break, it was over before it even started. Like, sometimes the ball wouldn't even touch the, the floor. 
the ball would just be like one pass, you know, like Magic said, like one pass, ding, and, you know, guess what? Somebody's getting a layup. Today is just like, let me fan out to the three-point line, and let me try to, you know, make a three, off-balance three or a rush three, when you could have got a layup. It makes no sense. You know, like, you put, if you think about, like, the 1986 Boston Celtics, if they were playing today, they would probably be blown out teams by, like, 40 points every game because all they got was layups and transition layups. It was perfect. It was the way to go. Like, today, transition is, is dying. It's really dying. Like, a lot of guys are scared to go to the basket. And the teams that are really successful, you know, everybody thinks that the teams that are successful in the NBA today is because they're shooting a lot of threes. And really, it's not about that. What makes them successful is they're getting a lot of easy baskets. Easy baskets in transition. If you look at Cleveland, you look at the San Antonio Spurs, look at the Golden State Warriors, one thing they all have in common is, yes, they do shoot the three extremely well. But even better, they get a lot of layups, a lot of easy buckets in transition. And a lot of the poor teams, they're not catching on to this. They keep shooting the threes, keep shooting the transition threes instead of getting easy layups. You know, a layup... It's going to propel you further in a game than a three-point shot. Even though a three-point shot is worth more, if you're shooting it at a poor rate, it doesn't even matter. Because if somebody's getting 10 layups to your three three-pointers, you know, I'm, I'm guaranteed they're going to make all, t all 10 of the layups. If, it's, if they're wide open transition layups, they're going to make them. As opposed to your three three-pointers that you hit, that's nine points. As That'll be 20 points. You know, if you're an above-average three-point shooting team, then a transition three makes all the more sense. But most teams are below average in shooting the three. You know, I feel like transition is just going to become a lost art. Like, I don't even think that coaches are going to probably need to practice it anymore. Just just for the simple fact that so many kids that just keep fanning out to the three. The, the pros are doing it. College kids are doing it. And they're, it's just a trickle-down effect. And everybody's emulating in that. When... To be in all honesty, there only are maybe three or four players that can really shoot the transition three and make it all the time. And the only person that I would give the green light is to is Stephen Curry. I mean, you don't see LeBron shooting transition threes often, and you don't see Kawhi Leonard shooting transition threes. Those guys are getting to the basket and they're getting fouled in one. You know, I don't know what Carmelo is doing, but he needs to change his whole mentality. He needs to get to the basket. You know, get into the basket, putting pressure on the defense. That's what's going to win you more games. You know, when you bail somebody out with a transition three that's going to miss, you're hurting your team, you're hurting your chances of winning, and you're you're showing kids that that's not really the right way to play the game, you know. I know Curry is transitioning, and he's pioneering the game to new heights with the, the three-pointer, but every shot cannot be a three-pointer, guys. you got to get easy layups. got to get easy buckets. You know, Curry gets a ton of layups. Watch his games over and over. You'll see that he... He does get a ton of layups. LeBron James gets a ton of layups. Kawhi Leonard gets a ton of layups. Russell Westbrook, a ton of layups. You know what I'm saying? Stop shooting the transition three so much. You know, get the layup. Three on one, supposed to end with a layup. Okay? Conventional wisdom. Sometimes, you know, sometimes doing the simple things is supposed to get you ahead of All right? Well, this is Vladimir, Hoops Junction. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hoops Junction, where hoops meets hoopla. Peace.